why I think smart contracts will be something in the future. When I think of smart contracts, I don't think of cryptocurrency. I think of some sort of technology, a technology that could be used in a blockchain, a blockchain that will prove ownership of either not just NFTs, but actual physical assets. Um, not all assets are you're able to actually hold, for instance, gold. Let's say you wanted to buy gold and there's a way of you buying gold without actually physically holding it. At that point, you would need proof, proof of the asset itself. Then you can also think of how they're going to use it in the future with uh, purchasing stuff, um, I believe in the future besides sol solidity contracts, which is how a lot of smart contracts and dApps are created. A solidity contract will have a way of using JavaScript, which is a more simplified form of coding that people already use in every day or even PDFs. That you can add into contracts. So for instance, in the future, if you wanted to sell your home as an asset or sell a vehicle as an asset, you can have two parties sell peer to peer in a seamless transaction, but then the proof would be in the contract that you then create. So that's why I'm really interested in educating people on assets that are going to be digital. Uh, back in the day, I always give this example, back in the day when you went to the grocery store, people used to use checks and that machine did, 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 will scan the check, write how much you spent, and that was proof that you purchased. Then the credit card came out and a lot of people were skeptical about credit cards. Oh, I'm not using a credit card. I'm not giving out my information. I'm not giving out any information out to the world. They're scammers. And then people adapt, adopted the credit card. Same thing now is happening in this new age of, okay, they're calling it cryptocurrency, but what they don't realize is it's going to be a technology already imprinted in the world and you're going to be forced to have to use it it's uh, already being used by major large companies and they're into the technology now they're just not out in public saying hey i'm jp morgan and and we believe in smart contracts which they are they're, they're part of hyperledger which is a big crypto company that has BlackRock and all those big companies, IBM, that are creating technology that's going to be used in the future. I also think credit cards in the future will be obsolete and there will be coding. Um, I believe there's uh, already in practice in certain places where you scan your handprint, you scan your eye, and there's coding in that way where you could purchase or you enter a room and it already knows that, okay, this person has this much he can purchase and take. Um, with this new technology, I fear that you're, there's going to be some job losses. There's going to be some job gains, but there's going to be some job losses where I see smart contracts taking jobs are you're going to see less cashiers, uh, less customer service. You're going to have to see other bigger companies modify their business structure on how, okay, we're going to get rid of this like customer care. And there's, there's actually technology now in cryptocurrency, but it's actually technology where if you add a solidity code and that is a, an AI that's going to pick up phones 
and answer calls. So then you don't need uh, a force, a workforce that's going to have to, hey, how's it going? There's already a program that's in that NFT that, okay, this, this NFT actually talks. This NFT actually makes phone calls. And to get that out to the public, they're like, well, that's not going to happen. That's, that's sci-fi. That's the Jets, the, like, that's, <laughs> but it, it really is happening. And so I, I introduce a lot of people when I talk to on Telegram or Discord I tell them all the stuff that I research. Um, you're only as good as the information you know, but then you're only as good as how you get the information out. Then I tell people, okay, you don't, you don't like cryptocurrency, but do you like the technology? Could, could your company benefit from smart contracts or dApps? Dapps are a whole nother thing that is in cryptocurrency, but it's a technology where you log into dApps, where dApps make transactions. And another thing I, I that really brought me to NFTs were they were unique. Um, yes, people could copy them, but the originals, like let's say I made an NFT and, and you bought the original or someone else made an NFT, you bought the original. You can't duplicate that original. So you can make a whole nother collection, but it won't have the same value because in that collection, let's say you only had 10,000, you only had 3,000, you can't make any more. Um, so then those collections could give you access to stuff. People could then do subscriptions. You can do physical, physical stuff that people can get through it. You can create a whole business. Uh, another interesting thing you, I believe you could do with NFTs that many people are not doing, if you could forget about it being a drawing, consider it a, a stock or a share of a community, which then you can then have a democracy on how people interact with a brand, interact with a company, or how you can start a startup company. So if there was a collection of 10,000 and I owned a hundred, I would have a huge percentage of that company without having to be in the stock market. Um, the bad rap that you get with NFTs and what's going on currently right now is 98% maybe 99% are all going to fail because they're not for long term. Most of them are either memes or developers that just disappear and do no actual work to support the project or have no vision to then say, hey, I'm going to make this into a company. Um, I'm making this NFT to make a beer company. I'm making this NFT to start a winery. I'm making this NFT to start uh, a, a foundation. Um, I think in the near future, I mean, if you look into NFT companies that are already doing it, like V Friends, um, not the meme ones, but the ones that actually brand a company, and then the people that own the NFCs are technically shareholders of the company. Um, once that gets out, and you see all these bad clowns disappear, you're going to get more people to come in. Uh, that's Chris from Big Beak Social Club. That is my Beak, Big Beak's rant on cryptocurrency. And sorry for the backup noise.